Hello, everybody. This is Circuit Main, host of The Brony Show. We're at episode 173. We're nearing the end of February, and soon we will be springing into March. Pun not intended. <laughs> Pun horribly not intended. I call bullshit. It's still going to be cold. It probably will be for a little while, at least for you guys. For me, it will be somewhat balmy. Thanks, Obama. Right. Thanks, Obama, for balmy temperatures in our area. Anyway. Thanks, nice to you. But everybody, welcome to the Brony Show. It's another great one, and we are nearing the end of February. And of course, I'm your host for 173 Circuit Maine. Also, have joining with me uh, from upstairs, from downstairs, apparently up here, opening mail right next to me. We got Blinked Mind. Hey, folks, how you doing? I'm up here because I was just putting away dishes. I'm going to be going back downstairs. Yeah, he'll be he'll be back on his system here in a moment. And we also have joining us. All right, I'm here. I'm fucking here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, we also have some deals as well. Fresh from his week-long trip, well, weekend trip over at PonyCon. Of course, we're definitely going to want to hear all about that. But after, before that, let's go ahead and introduce our crazy little panel. We oh, have joining... God, I just, like, farted for eight straight seconds and got a headache. I heard you fart once, and it went... <laughs> <laughs> I, what? There, I, I like, don't I know. <laughs> I don't know what in the world's going on anymore. But yeah, let's go ahead and introduce our panel here while we still have a moment of ins of sanity. We have joining us our uh, movie uh, our movie night aficionado Comet Starshot. Yo, I'm here. I'm here. I forgot you do that. Cool. Yeah. This car's wow, doesn't that, that make you years. feel loved? Mm. Uh, I don't have, I don't have to worry about anything about him. Uh, and we also have joining us Deal Grit, our card aficionado and gate yeah. PC builder. Yes, uh, who yeah. currently Order has. PC. He's basically he's basically, Corn, he's basically Corn aficionado. Oh, card duh, uh, card duh. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Card. There was a D there, you nincompoop. Who's the D oh, where? Card. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I'm about to zap the bitch. So, ba so basically, when it comes to PC, Deal's basically the Frankie of the group. One piece. Right. <laughs> However, it appears I cannot make a cup of hot chocolate. My finger lied to me. Lied oh, to sketchy, me. Oh, sketchy man. Good you like out. Frankie, man. Mm. He's a fucking mechanic with a massive blue pompadour. A bl massive blue pompadour? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, entirely he's... certain he w his original design was thought of after Popeye, but I, I can't know that. I don't know either. But let we also got a few other people joining us. You can obviously tell that Sketchy Wolf. Yo! And I got good news. I'm getting my truck back this week. Yay! Yeah, why can't have a truck to begin with? First place, though. What? <laughs> what happened to it in the first place, though? You guys don't remember that I the entire engine had to be rebuilt? Oh, okay. I thought you got to take care of way beforehand. No, it's just it's been taking so long is because I gotta pay for the parts and shit, and I can only do it in so many increments. And the dude, we were just going over the numbers, and he's like, "Hey, if I charged you my regular rate." And everything, it would have been like two thousand bucks without the parts, like with, with not including parts, just in labor, about two thousand bucks. He's doing it for me off the books for four hundred dollars. So he shouldn't you, be staying on stream. <laughs> what right. You, what do you mean? <laughs> Any case, and also we have uh, Suki from the Otaku Ascended, who's probably actually been the quietest of all of us. Because I actually left my mic on mute for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and hey, hey everybody, I began my journey of mar of using this week to marathon all of Gravity Falls. My I God! Thought you were gonna say starting your week of marathon. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Bruce Jenner comes out, I, and now you. I feel like a woman, and it's go and it's glorious. Rexon, you don't have to put on red lights. I'm done with that fucking song. Fucking, this is a station on Long Island every day when I was getting driven to school during my college years. Roxanne. Motherfucking, it was, they, that station's point in terms of music, they had a very specific playlist that was limited to like 30 songs, and that was on literally every goddamn morning. I got so sick of that song. <laughs> 102.3 plays the most music on Long Island with the least amount of songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Grand Theft Auto Radio, but in real life. Oh, God, Actually, I would have gone with Groundhog Days of school years. 
Except the great thing about Grand Theft Auto Radio is that I'll never forget when that when one of those hosts was talking, and the only line I got out of it was something along the lines of "I wish I had a wife so she could beat me." <laughs> uh, my favorite thing is to listen like when I get a new Grand Theft Auto game comes up, listen to the talk radio stations first thing. Don't listen to the songs, listen to the talk radio stations. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, yeah, they'll say the greatest amount of bullshit you ever done heard. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, do some brief uh, intros here, and then we can go ahead and go nuts, because admittedly, the news this week has been rather light, so it gives us more time to banter a little bit and also hear all about PonyCon. But um, in case we're here with episode 173, our discussion for this week is going to be a reaction to not one, but two full episodes that somebody decided to do of the widest kids you know completely ponified. We're talking 24 minutes each. Uh, Almost 50 is minutes. Is it animated? It's co- well, it's animated, but they basically just took... They it's, ba- it's re-synced up to... Um... It's re-synced uh, clips of, the, of uh, My Little Pony, but some of them have been edited to work with the things like Hit Little Hitler. Right. Pinky has a little Hitler mustache while the whole thing is going on. and It, it gets crazy. The whole thing is insane. <laughs> I can't like, believe... Uh, so it's, uh, what was it? Uh, the Pony Anthology? <laughs> kind of, yes. In a way, it kind of is, except this was all one person's work through two episodes of um, The Whitest Kids You Know, which is incredible, at the same time, kind of insane. Incredible, and at the same time, kind of sad. <laughs> Actually, yes, that too. <laughs> But yes, we're going to be reacting to that. But first, we got quite a few things to talk about, uh, starting up with What's Up, Bronies? So, What's Up, Bronies? Okay, so, so that was good. No. <laughs> so after almost two months, four hundred dollars, and in labor, three hundred dollars in parts, and three hundred ish dollars in engine machining, I am getting my Sweetie Bell pickup truck back this weekend, and I'm gonna be so fucking happy. He likes me young. Sweet. <laughs> it's a pickup truck. It's the name of my pickup truck, people. And I don't want to hear any of the, oh, I'm going to go for a ride in Sweetie Bell. Oh, 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 oh. You guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they're going to put it on a dyno Thursday, and then they're going to get an accurate readout of how many horses are going to be put down on the wheel. But my buddy Miguel at RPM Truck and Auto... <clears throat> by the way, if uh, you want to get your truck or automobile serviced by friendly staff, then take it over to RPM Auto in beautiful Lakeside, California on Channel Road. Now that that shameless plug is done and over with, need more radio uh, static. gonna get about 400 horses at the wheel is what he told me he's gonna be pumping out. That's gonna be a fast-ass truck. <laughs> nice. Horses, how are you going to feed them all? With gasoline! Dinosaurs! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I'm just glad it didn't go with a beefarino joke. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says um, manly like dinosaurs exploding three feet from your crotch at about 8,000 times a second. Yeah, Excuse me, there, minute. there's nothing more metal than that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Are argue with that. <laughs> I don't know what we're joking about, but I love it. <laughs> Harley Davidson's the world's most expensive vibrators. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fun fact, my family's really into Harley Davidson. My mom has one, my uncle has one, my brother has one. Wink, wink. Well, okay. I'm not getting one. Okay, uh, uh, moving mind. on. I love motorcycles, but I'd never get a Harley Davidson. All right. I've an got easy. a stepbrother who's a who's a officer who has a Harley Davidson. Um, <laughs> New York, the most expensive place to purchase liquefied dinosaur. Really? <laughs> it's among them. Dude, How much is gasoline price, over there right now? Uh, on Long Island, it's pretty solid. I, I think it actually went to like two eighty. Like, we're doing well. <laughs> fuck, Fucking New fuck York. Fuck you, dude. It's up to three dollars a gallon in dude, the in New York. state of California. Dude, in like New York proper, it's like four bucks. Oh fuck hey, that, here. That, that sounds about right. Walk. No one. No <laughs> wonder people just fucking walk. Well, yeah, that and it's impossible to drive anywhere in New York. Yeah, it went to That's four. It's like a meal at some places. Yeah, it went to four at. Uh, it was on four. Lo- it was four dollars uh, or more on Long Island um, a couple months ago. Yeah, times were tough, but things are going like great now. I'm just like, oh uh, shit. I don't want to take. Nothing's gonna be better than the days where you can get like fucking twenty gallons for one dollar. 
Like nothing's ever gonna be that. Yeah, you man. can go to Saudi Arabia and do that. You can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to Saudi Arabia, buy a Lamborghini for the weekend, drive it around, then get bored with it, and then abandon it in an alleyway. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, they do that. There's. There's a uh, YouTube video where it's just abandoned supercars in Saudi Arabia, and there's like this uh, Jaguar supercar, the only Jaguar supercar that they ever made in the 90s, and they only made like, I think it was 300-ish of them, and it was just sitting in a vacant lot, dirty, just rotten away. Before we start that's to sad. question the sat- That's really sad! Okay, before see, we, go- we see, question the reality- we, um, That's yeah. why we gotta, we gotta start right. drilling here in America so we can do shit like that. <laughs> Alright, okay, Let, let's- I, I'm, uh, I'm agreeing with, um, with Slick here on this. Let's go ahead and move topics uh, before we get kind of depressed. Uh, uh, does anybody else have any other What's Up Bronies going on? Not really. Uh, uh, yes, actually. Bernie Con's always looking for staff. Yes, it's that time of year. Shush you. I see your judging eyes. Actually, but, yeah. I was going to ask if they started doing press passes yet. Uh, wrong guy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Nah. Uh, I, specialized. I know my department's looking for about 20 more people, so if you have a desire to give back to the con and work with VIPs, there you go. Um, but that's just a general volunteer link, so you know, you want to have discounted room and food and don't have to pay for your badge. There you go. Oh, hey, they are doing press passes now. Okay, there's something I'm going to be doing this week. Um, yeah. and <laughs> Get me one, sir. What do you think I'm going to do? Yes. Not Any- get me one, like last time. Hey, you... Nah. Are you going to be working with the museum again? Aren't you going to be working with the museum again? I don't work. That's Neither do I. I'm going to go bug the shit out of him when he's at Babs. Oh, All right, man, uh, so great. We're gonna make. I should, like, I should just go to the vendor hall and take up his time trying to haggle. All right. Well, Wait, since, are you since we're be there too. No, yeah, I'm staffing. That's why I just plugged no, it. No, 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 no. Bad. Sorry, talk about Brony Sorry, Sorry. I, I walked away to get more booze, so I can get to bug both of y'all. All and right. Get drunk with DJ Tetsua. Miss that guy. Okay, well, let, let's go ahead and move on here a little bit. I uh, I do got a little bit of a what's up, Brony, going off me. Uh, some of you know I already did my taxes, and afterwards, um, good news, we'll be able to get Twy Peter up and running at some point here in the near future because of that. Bad news is, um, also somewhat good news, I missed a few important documents involved with that. So, I had to do my first ever, uh, um, uh, what, what, not an audit. I hope not. Or redaction? Oh. Not, not a redaction. Uh, amendment. I had, to do, I had to do my first ever tax amendment on both my state and federal, which included $700 more in my refund, so nice. Yay. Now I, you, dick. Now I just have to cross my fingers and hope that this also doesn't lead to my first tax audit. Quick circuit. Wait, is that bad? It's very bad because they basically go through everything with a fine tooth comb, and if they find one thing wrong, they'll. If it's not, if it's in their favor, they will. They will take you out back like a freaking five dollar hooker and screw you until you freaking scream they'll for mercy. You, they'll they'll fuck you, then beat you with a baseball bat, and then take their money back. The, the, uh, I like the, how we almost start. I like how we started almost profound and then just completely lost it. <laughs> there, there's no way to be profound. It is the, it is dear God. It is the IRS. They're dicks. Period. Yay, government. Uh, yeah. Oh, any right. case, but in any case, uh, yeah, that was the first of many things for me in regards to taxes. But at least in a good note, it means that we'll be able to make the Brony Show bigger and better in the next coming months. Hopefully, not too long in the waiting, but we'll see what happens with that. Now, does anybody else have any other What's Up Bronies before we go to Slick for a special report on PonyCon? Um, I really... Okay, let me see if I can fucking gather someone. Uh, oh, I know who I can fucking get. Come here, Nick. Come here, bitch. I need my... Coffee. <laughs> Coffee! Wolfie, as you people say. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee, coffee. Do you folks like coffee? C is for coffee, and coffee is for me. <laughs> C is for coffee. That's like good enough way. for me. Yeah, do I just felt like you were like fucking... Coffee. What Duggan is it? Duggan Hills. Duggan Hills. Duggan Hills. Coffee. Cavity cream. Okay, okay, we make up. holes in teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so it looks like Slick wants to get a little bit of backup in w with the PonyCon report. Working on it. Okay, while while he's working on that here, does anybody else have anything else to bring up real fast? Nope. All right. Meh. Meh. Okay. Um. Well, nothing else. I'm going on everybody, show. Everybody's playing Monster Hunter Four without me. There, I said something. <laughs> yeah, Colin's playing Monster Hunter Four. Everybody else is playing Evolve, and I'm just sitting here drinking coffee. They're playing Monster Hunter Four without me. Wah, wah. I don't know if you like the series. Well, no, I don't know, but I know that Abe was going to pl stop playing Monster Quest if I didn't. So it is obviously the best game ever. <laughs> that was a great. That was a great joke. <laughs> Uh, this is also, it's also the truth. Alright. Oh god, the pain. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we'll um, start delving a little bit into news here until um, Slick is ready for the PonyCon report. So, um, first on the news, um, I actually stumbled across something that I'm not sure how, how nobody's actually really noticed this or started talking about it. A lot of them gave, a lot of people are coming up with their own Five Nights at Somebody's um, little demos or pre-releases, things like that. It, it, not a pony one. Nope. Actually, uh, this is a pony one. Six <laughs> Nights at Pinkies. Six S Nights at Pinkies. Six Nights at Pinkies. Of course, right now the game is completely in demo, and I only found out about it through a review site that was oddly enough talking about Six Nights at Nights at Pinky. You have a video. Actually, we do have a little video here. Of course, we're just gonna. Ah, and the first thing that happens is that screen. <sighs> just gonna mute it up here. So Actually, the the funny thing Wait, about so have a this, video, but it's not Markiplier. Fail. Well, Fail. it's still in demo stages. I don't know if Markiplier does demos or if anybody he submitted does, this. Actually, but it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be odd. I don't know if he ever would touch it. He thought so, Five Nights at Freddy's was know. a demo, and then yeah. No, no, he played the demo at first, and then he switched to the real game. The, yeah, the know, demo he, was he did, the real game, done some, at least, wasn't it? Yeah. He's no. done some spin-offs, because he did a... He, he did, did a Five Nights at Wario's, he did the Treasure he did the demo for Treasure Island. Yeah. I guess when he did one other one. Uh, yeah. I don't think. But in any All case... Uh, is Treasure Island, Wario's, and that's it. Yeah. The, in any case, uh, about this uh, demo, they act, whoever did this actually did a really good job, which is why I'm actually bringing it up. It plays pretty much just like the uh, combination between one and two. You got your separate different camera angles. Your got your wind up box that actually controls Rainbow Dash, and you oh, are that seems wrong. That should be controlling Pinky, I think. Well, Pinky's uh, kind of the um, the uh, Teddy thing. She's Freddy. She's Freddy. Yeah. Freddy. Applejack's more of the Foxy. You actually see her kind of sticking her head out of a bathroom here and there. So it's pretty interesting to say the least. The demo is actually pretty decent. From I downloaded it, but I haven't had a chance to really play it yet. I wonder if they're gonna port it so you can oh play God, it. Oh God! Looks like she actually just woke up for a second there. Oh, fucker. Yeah. Damn it. it. I don't know about porting it. Um, it, it, it. I don't know if they'll even complete it past the demo. That's always a weird thing about games like this. Sometimes they'll just end up being some sort of extravagant demo, and that'll be it. But hopefully there actually will be something more to this game because it does look pretty promising. Uh, granted, you know, I'd prefer my pony games to be a little bit more action adventure and not scaring me my the crap out of me so I feel like my head's about... I like the, yeah. I like the creepy stuff. Well, that's just me. But in any case, um, the demo, uh, the link to the demo is actually linked to uh, in our show notes. Be sure to check it out. That's one thing I can encourage. I have seen uh, a couple of reviews on this. The game is looking pretty good. It controls pretty much just like uh, Five Nights at Freddy 2. So if you play that game, you're going to be able to pick this up and just go with it. But I'd say it deserves a little bit of a look-in. Of course, um, yeah, she hasn't died yet, amazingly enough. And you, know, you can actually um, change the levels of the thing, so you can get some playability. It's not one level. Difficulty and that's it. It's Try six night at Pinky Twilight Phoenix. Thanks for this. Yeah, it's six nights at Pinky. What a and weird title. Twinkle Phoenix. What the fuck? Yeah. All right. In any case. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that Sun? Wait, who the hell was that? Sunset Shimmer. What the fuck? Yeah, they actually got her in there instead of I don't. Who are they missing? Uh, Fluttershy, I think. No, she was in there. I hope so. In there. I hope so. Applejack, Fluttershy. Tw no, Twilight Sparkle was in there. Um, I didn't see Rarity. What the fuck? 
Oh, yeah, I guess Verity is not a demonic possessed uh, machine of death. Oh, but those are the best <laughs> kinds of. I always knew that Rarity and Fluttershy were smart enough to lay. That's just how it works. Hey, Fluttershy's Fluttershy evil. There. Fluttershy's oh, in yeah. there and evil. <sighs> Don't give her that. She, she, there's six ponies in there. Fluttershy is one of them. All right. Any case, uh, that's Five Nights at Pinkies. Let's move on to some updates from Game Loft. Which unfortunately. Oh boy, pay to play. Yes, oh, pretty much. Free to play. <clears throat> Free to play. Free to pay, pay to. <laughs> free to pay, pay to actually have something. But yeah, that's, that's appropriate. Free to play if you, oh my god. But yes, um, it looks like the latest update is you can get a, a Betty Buffont by dancing. Dancing. Yeah. That's Rarity's mom, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Her name is Betty Buffont. Really? Oh dear God! She's n wait, her last name's not Unicorn, so Rarity's adopted. I don't. I don't These pony that. names don't make any fucking sense. Uh, well, I know what a bouffant is. I'm just that's kind of depressing to have somebody literally named after hairstyle. Um, I don't know. It's I like yeah, I can with dig it. Pony names. I I'm wondering. Like, there's two ways you can go about this one. Either fucking people. These ponies, like, have a moment of just, Shut like, a psychic <laughs> moment where they fucking know what their kid is going to do and name them thusly, or if in naming their kid, they are dooming them to the life of their namesake. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, like, Snips and Snails. They knew that their cutie mark was going to be, like, based around that. Yeah. I would not be surprised if they just change their name if they want to. It's All like, right, okay, I you brought my mark, boss in, so you should Oh, I got Inky, look out. All yeah. right. It's my boss. Okay, boss. let's... I uh, wish you gave me a heads up. I probably could have called her in, right? All right, let's see this in. Cool. All right, so since we got the um, the, the uh, main woman of the uh, Traveling Pony Museum, we'll go ahead and get an update from PonyCon from the viewpoint of the Traveling Pony Museum, which is probably a lot more sta stacked. Not, not Probably not the right word. Uh, not my boss. Not that, <laughs> not that kind of stack. Flat, flat, hot and flat, like Texas. No, 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 no. I'm talking about it's more jam-packed with um, <laughs> pony goodies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I heard the joke and I had to go for it. <laughs> well, considering the fact that you guys uh, apparently received a lot, got back a lot more of your uh, actual um, museum item pieces. Well, I mean, yeah, we got... Uh, you got back a lot more control is what you mean. Yeah. That too. Come on, bitch, answer. <laughs> uh, this pretty much feels like my work right here. The boss says I'll help, and then suddenly they vanish. Yeah, no, mm. I, uh, I'm literally the only person. Fucking Inky, I'm the only person in this museum that can talk to her like eh. this. It's great. Any case, also with Game Loft, since we'll, uh, we're waiting here real fast, they're also promising more ponies, bigger shops, gift quests, and also t is now apparently going to be the next thing. So now you get to deal with a giant thing that's uh, blowing fire on all your buildings. That's cool, but do I get more than one gem a year? No. Okay. You still have to buy the $100 hey, super it's, gem pack. It's my boss. Everybody run. I'll be fired. <laughs> Diva, oh. you're fired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Do you know how fired you are? Diva, Diva, do you know how fired you are right now? Um, If I wasn't fired after the Texas comment, I don't think you're going to do it now. Diva, Diva, do you know He's where I am? He's got a point. He's got a point. You Wait a minute. Connor's getting house. fired? This Hold is on, exciting. Diva, Diva, do you know where I am right now? No. I'm at Fabrizio's house having dinner with his family while he's uh, at school. Oh, no. <laughs> well, okay. You both could have said that also. Fob, I love you, Vinegar. No, 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 no. Fob's not here. Fob is at school, and I was at work with his father, and his father invited me back for dinner, which is what I've been having, along with some beer. And now you are interrupting my nice dinner with his fa father, who was so nice to invite me back then for dinner. And a now I have to do a radio. Why are you even going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why are you even going? You're going to fire your big and you get out of here and enjoy your meal. God, so I instead of instead of instead of instead of having this nice dinner and then having having to drive home an hour, I get to now sit here and, and talk to to you instead of driving home before I have to come back all the way out here, well, to no. which I'll probably have to stay out here well, go overnight you'll, anyway. Me, you'll, Inky, you'll eventually so learn that the greatest threat so is not just fire. Do you know how fired you are? 
Well, I don't know. Calling him Diva seems to be enough of a problem. I'm starting to kind of. I started to kind of. So, so Diva, do you know how fired you are? <laughs> Get to the point! Inky, the so better fired. threat is that he has to take your job now. <laughs> That's, that's, that's right. to come work, work for, work, um, uh, my job for a day. I would not mind it, because I could use gainful employment of sorts. I told you you could come work if you could get I here. I can't get there! Well, then, that's your own fucking problem. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wholly appreciate your offer, but I am a grounded shit stain that does not have a license nor permit. I don't have any money. What do you suggest? Oh, spend some money. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Brownie Show. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, uh, what just happened? Uh, fired. Fired. Connor got fired yeah, on air. Fired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I at least it's warm. <laughs> what happened to global average? What are you gonna wait? What are you, what are you gonna do for like? Are you gonna let just like let Will hit on you now? You know he's no good at it. Nah, he's not good at it. I owe oh, him he's... dinner too. You know that. You owe? Do you? What do you owe him dinner for? I thought that was. Yeah, I actually, I, I legitimately owe him dinner from like Trotcon twenty, like whenever the fuck I met him. What did he do? I don't remember at this point. You don't remember. <laughs> it's been it's been so long that oh, I... there were a lot of drinks. Sir, yeah. what the fuck is that? <laughs> I told him he was gonna notice that. I don't know. I oh, considering I kept I kept hearing her say diva the first part. I couldn't ew, resist it. Ew! <laughs> fish lady with hooves. Anyway. <laughs> she looks a little. Oh, it's D. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so. Oh, oh, oh! I get it. Diva. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. It's original. No, it's not. No. Ba da ba ba da ba. Okay, okay. Are you are you leaving me then? What do you want from my life? I guess nothing. Uh, no, you already have what you want. Well, I wanted uh, someone to help me report the happenings of PonyCon to this show, which was something I completely blew off last week because by the time I got home, uh, we nearly took off one of your fingers and I was dead tired. Yeah, no, yeah. You, my okay, finger is I still... Uh, Awful and disgusting. So. It's jank, Tinky. Okay, we're gonna have to start with that. <laughs> what? When the world happened? Um. Um. We were trying to break down a printer and Inky having so, complete okay, wait, foresight no, no. on the matter. You're saying printer. You say printer, but it's not a printer. It's, it's like a, it's this a like three point plotter monstrosity, and it's on this metal stand. And so Will and Deep are holding the stand. And they go, "Oh, we need somebody to press in these little buttons on the stand, and I'm gonna pull it apart." And I looked at it, and I was like. She said, uh, like, my fingers, and I'm just like, like, don't worry about your fingers. <laughs> like, I really fucking knew. And they were like, no, it's okay. And I looked at Will, and I was like, Will, how hard do you have to pull this thing apart? He goes, pretty hard. I was like, ah. And he was like, no, it's fine. And I was like, God. Fuck. We had been outside packing the car for hours. It was freezing. And I was just like, screw it. I just want to freaking go. It was the last thing that had to get in the car before we all had to go. And I was like, ah, all right. So I fucking put my goddamn fingers on it. And he pulled, and I now have this nasty slice into my fingernail and across my finger. And, um, that shit, uh, uh, I almost, like, fucking, like, literally just... I think everybody in Brooklyn thought somebody was getting murdered. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, there was a sense. And then, of course, because it's Brooklyn, they just went, Oh, someone's getting murdered, I'm just gonna keep walking. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what happened. And so now I have this really janked up, nasty fingernail while it's healing, um... And, uh, How do you yeah, it sucks, uh, it sucks. Yeah, like, fucking, there was this sincere bloodlust, uh, beside me, because this, this was my ride home. So, I got it to took go me home. everything, like, to not, like, just go full serial killer murder on the pad, like, because he was just there. Like, it wouldn't have been for any other reason other than he was my passenger and he was close to me because I was in so much pain. Like, did I tell you it actually sliced through the leather part on my gloves? Yeah, I know that, because uh, I took your gloves out. That's even more surprising. I, I thought that would have at least I held up. I took your gloves out of the thing we were trying to break apart. My gloves got stuck in there. I actually had to pull my hand out of my gloves. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, fucking tell Cory, they're like, these boss I'm can call him whatever she wants. Yeah, she can, and she I'm does. Surprised. 
I'm surprised because of how, like, I pinched not only, like, that one finger, but I pinched, like, four of my other fingers also. I the won't. force that, it, like, I felt, I'm surprised I don't have bruises under my fingernails or that I didn't lose a nail, like, on another finger from, like, how hard that was. Essentially, this was the eventful part of all PonyCon. This was the, the biggest deal that we almost, we almost killed our boss. And, uh... That taxi cab pony was so stupid. I hate him. I think the most interesting part of PonyCon, though, was down the hall from us was, like, a room full of bodies. Uh, oh, yeah, that was something. Basically, yeah, the what happened the CPR was... CPR mannequin room. Yeah. And they, they were all uh, like, we were, The convention medical... took place at a college, a, a Catholic college, no less. Oh. oh. St. Francis. Yeah, St. Francis, Francis College in Brooklyn. Yeah, we totally had this really, really ornate crucifix in our room. It was great. We had Jesus watching over the museum, man. Anyway, <laughs> um, so... We're, uh, we're setting up, and we go up the elevator, we're loading things in, I stop halfway and, like, give a little start, Inky kind of looks back at me, what's wrong with you? I'm like, look, she looks in the room, there's this fucking creepy-ass mannequin just sitting up, and, like, then uh, she's just like, oh, shit, that scared the crap out of me, I'm like, yeah, you wanna see this thing, more of them down the way, she goes the door down, there's four of them sitting on beds, and they're just, they look like bodies, it's this area thing. Yeah. It was more than four of them, it was a whole room full of them, all lying down on beds and stuff, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, man, I'm like, this does not <laughs> seem like the first from God. You, the first one you don't notice, like, if you walk by, you catch it out of the corner of your eye, because it's just the head, like, from, like, a around a corner, and then you look and you're like, <gasps> because I seriously thought it was a, a real person the first time, and then I was like, okay, and then I, I go down the hall and I look in the room, and there's just a whole room full of them. I was like, this is, I, uh, no, bye. It's like, okay, now I know how Markiplier feels. Ugh. No, no. mannequins. Oh, wow, that, that's, com that's some crazy stuff. That so, uh, in regards to the actual weekend, uh, Inky abandoned us because it was Valentine's Day, and, like, no, you know what? I would have abandoned us too for Fabrizio. I would have abandoned us too. She has yeah, an Italian boyfriend. He's cool Pat as hell. Has, Pat has this like man crush on my boyfriend. Dude, Fabrizio. First of all, his name is Fabrizio. I'm just gonna start by saying that. Yeah, it's pretty. Fabrizio. That's pretty damn something. It sounds like Italian Fabrizio. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Fabrizio. Fabrizio. He's very Italian and like. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of... Don't make fun of Italian. You know where I am right now? I'm in an Italian household. Oh! <laughs> she's, in a, she's in an Italian household over here. Wow! She's in the Bronx. She is over here. Okay, the next thing on the body show, we're gonna see how... grave, dude. We're gonna see how far we take this until she either gets kicked out or gets spear cans thrown at her. Hey, you want the more spaghetti? Or right, more right, spaghetti. Right. You okay, know, okay. You want seconds? You want more seconds? Uh, now I'm turning into right, Persian yeah, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> He's interrupting everything. We not guys. Okay, okay. Let's let's go oh, ahead and the... behave ourselves a little bit here. There, there is one really good story uh, about Vizio in relation to being Italian, but I'll tell that in a little while. Um. Now, uh, as for the actual convention, uh, you see, it actually started really well. Setup was uh, particularly funny because it's like we have to rush, we have to rush because it opens at nine. We're setting up at like eight forty-five. Meanwhile, no, it opens at ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, it opened at like eleven, and we were ready at like ten. And it was yeah, like... dude, we were chilling. Uh, there was actually, there is one really good picture that Will took early on of the completed museum, and uh, I'm just face down on in the middle of the floor because I was tired. Oh, D-Pad, D-Pad, I never made it rain over you with the hundred packs of, ma of uh, pony cards I bought. Because I didn't want you to. I didn't want you to. She's like Deal trying... Deal with that field day. Yeah, I know. She's like trying to throw packets of my little pony cards at me. Like, if I was some form of prostitute and or stripper, this would be my currency. But you are. What? And it oh, is. What? Are you referring to me getting laid at various conventions? You know, you know, whenever I take this guy to a convention, he, like, brings a chick back and bangs it in the chef hotel room. He bangs it, though. <laughs> bangs her, whatever. You know, I'm a little tired, and I had a beer, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he brings a chick back and bangs her in the staff hotel room. And I'm like, D-Pad, you're supposed to be working. It's the middle of the day on the busiest day. 
and we're oh, making sales, shit. and you're away banging somebody for the love of God. I didn't bring you like half across the freaking United States to get laid. I brought you here to work. Man, your dinner must be getting really cold. <laughs> I, think already, I think she already ate. Already uh, ate. If she's at an Italian household, she ate, and then she's not done. They're gonna be like, "No, you need more." Well, yeah, the you beer's getting really warm. The of that. You don't even understand my pain because, like, I come here and they're like, "Oh, eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more," and, I, and like, before I know it, dude, Italians, dude, dude Italian families are just like Mexican families down here. They're like, "Oh, you, you had some burritos and some tacos and like, which are bomb, by the way. Nothing beat like ever since I moved to San Diego. I've never been to Del Taco ever since. But they're like, here, have some more, and I'm like, no, nah, I can't. No, like, here, here, Gringo, have some more. I'm like, oh, fucking fine. <laughs> no, yeah, I literally sobbed into a plate of pasta one time. Because <laughs> I was like, I was so full and like getting food, and he was like, I was like, I really want to try this pasta, and he was like, okay, here, let me give you a little bit. And I was like, yeah, give me a little bit, and he gives me a whole plate full, and I was just like sobbing as I was trying to force myself to eat it because I just couldn't. I'm like, no wonder Italians have acid reflux. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I, I, but I mean, I was good this time. I did not get laid at this con. Can you oh, vouch for this, Inky? Can you actually easy. vouch for this? What? What? A confident guy like you? Come on. You know what you gotta do? You gotta dress like me. You gotta get the pompadour, and you gotta wear really flashy sketchy. Buttons. Sketchy. The point of this is that I get laid at like every convention, and she gets upset with me for it. <laughs> Why? Because she has it. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Oh, don't. No. If he gets laid at every convention, then the girls he gets he gets laid with just go off and like randomly get married to other people. Apparently. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, dear she, world! You're the ah. Uh, she she it, was not engaged, nor did she even meet that guy. Uh, by the time like she was at that convention with us. Wait a minute, you're Dane Cook. Literally, you're that freaking... Like, like, literally, her and Deep had hooked up, and then, like, a month later, she was married to some dude. No, yeah, it... I'm like, and I've known her for, like, nine years, and I'm just like, oh my god, what? Slick, you're Dane Cook. You're that. You're freaking Dane Cook. Am I? He's yes, some girl lays you, what? and then they get married to somebody else <laughs> almost afterwards. I mean, remember that stupid movie? Uh, uh no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good luck, Chuck. No, Basic. It... I don't know why you say that he's been <laughs> cooked because I don't find him annoying or aggravating in the slightest. Well, that's you haven't been around like, him long enough, Inky or loud and obnoxious. You haven't been around long enough. Because Inky is the one that's what I want me for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we we just wanted you on to uh, hear a little bit about what happened with PonyCon with you guys, and also the museum in general. Just you know, the status update on everything that happened over there, highlights, anything like that. Well, uh, the museum was great. There were lots of really creepy mannequins, and D-Pad didn't get laid. <laughs> That's like of a highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, and, uh, quick, and quick shout out. Hi, Dad. <laughs> he's always there. I'll fill them in on the rest, Inky. Thank you. Thank no, no. I mean, like, I'll legitimately talk about. It. I mean, it was great. It was. It was fun to get back to PonyCon after PonyCon. Um, Tank. Kind of downsized a lot from being, like, an up-and-coming big convention to being downsized a lot to almost a meetup group and then being brought back from the depths of meetup group status to being a convention again. Um, a lot of people were upset, though, because it was on multiple floors and there wasn't a hotel adjacent to it. We had to actually take a lot of... It, it was really... Um, a lot of brothers were like, there's too many stairs! Really? There were multiple elevators running. It wasn't. It wasn't that. It was just that everything was so spaced out on different floors and different weird locations. Like it wasn't really simple. And then uh, um, uh, that's like ever freeze. Like every I've been there three years in a row, and their elevators break down every single fucking time. <laughs> the con happens. Yeah, no, I, I remember. Break down, and yeah, the bronies yeah. have to walk three flights, and they they. There's like this because for some reason the first floor has something on it. The second floor never has anything. Like, it's closed off. And the third floor is where like all the people are talking and shit. So you see bronies like hanging out in the second floor. I guess they're taking like a breather before they walk up the rest of the stairs. And well, it's actually the thing, funny. At, at this college, they didn't actually have stairs. They had escalators. Hmm. Ah, it's a lot more convenient for them bronies. <laughs> yeah, no, oh god, it was, dude, it was the best thing for me, because we had a panel, 
And uh, so what does this bitch tell me to do? She's like, D-pad, go advertise us like 10 minutes before it begins. I'm like, take Pinkie Pie. Meanwhile, Pinkie Pie is about four, four and a half foot fucking giant ass Pinkie Pie plush. I, I weep weigh for you. I 139 pounds. I weep for you. I think it like 40 pounds. Yeah, it does. <laughs> So, uh, my job is to now run down the several flights of uh, floors, um, uh, toting this thing on my shoulder, and, uh, unfortunately, not only am I good at advertising, I'm also kind to of people. So this is a bunch of little kids, so meanwhile, uh, a bunch of little kids want to see the fucking Pinkie Pie, so I gotta fucking kneel down with this goddamn thing, now kneeling down was the problem. It was standing fucking back up with that goddamn thing after all was said and done. Uh, I had, just, just for Inky, I had a janked up shoulder by the time I got up to that fucking panel. Mm. I'll never let her live this word, word jank. Right, you You're I actually don't... using the word right. I, it's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I was at Everfree and I, I was in one of the elevators, I actually got into one of the elevators that broke. And it was on the third floor. And, like, the door opened, and then, it just, like, a crack, and then stopped. And I'm sitting there going, I'm in an elevator. I took a shower the, before I came out. The rest of these people didn't. And I'm going to be stuck here for several hours. <laughs> this <laughs> is going to sink. This is going to suck. And then I go, I'm sitting there, and the person, the, the staff member's like, don't worry, we're going to get someone to come here real soon. And I'm, like, sitting here going, I got a smartphone. I bet I could YouTube how to get out of a stuck elevator. And then I looked up the name of the elevator on this little clipboard where it's registered that this elevator is safe, looked it up, then Googled a, uh, a Wikipedia page, nonetheless, and found out that all I had to do was pry open a door flip a switch, and then stick my hand in between two doors and pull a lever. And that's exactly what I did, and the door opened up, and the guy's like, how'd that open up? I'm like, I don't know. I don't mess with it. <laughs> oh, you didn't see anything? I didn't say anything. So, yeah, nobody saw anything. <laughs> so, but, um, fucking, you know, I was good in the convention, especially with all the turmoil that had been happening in the museum recently, which was, oh, I was finally done away with by my number one fucking boy. Um, who, uh, how, does he, do we just call him Will? Does he even have a fucking surname? He's taking a, what, like, a surname? Yeah, he has a surname, but I mean, like, you mean a pony name? Sure, whatever. He's taking over Shoutout. Is he taking over Shoutout? As far as I know, he's taking over Shoutout. Alright, I guess we'll call the little it bastard like Shoutout. It looks like him. Yeah, he does. So, um, yeah, I guess Shoutout, then. Um... Yeah, that guy's my number one man on this team. He really is. That dude fixed everything in a fucking night. It was glorious. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, you can't. Oh, sorry, I thought my mic was muted. Ah. Uh, I you apologize. Well, yeah, true. True enough for that. Okay, um, well, it, it sounds like you definitely had an awesome time and pretty interesting time, to say the least. Uh, is there anything else you want to um, uh, throw out there with happened at PonyCon? It's a, it's a good first starting come for the year, I think, um, for us. And hopefully we can do a lot of fun conventions again this year. I think uh, we, we started hearing back from Brony Canada, which is in Vancouver, so it's on the West Coast. It's in yeah. Vancouver there, eh? It's not Ooh. really going to happen. You don't think so? I, I don't think so. Why not? Because I assume we're not flying, which means that we'd have to drive. No, we're not flying. We're driving, and I uh -huh. drove to Everfree Northwest. I'll drive to Brony, Canada. You'll drive to fucking Brony, Can? I drove to Everfree Northwest. That's fine. That's not my point. You're going country. Brony, Can is actually probably a little bit closer than Everfree is. That's fucking funny. Hey, Blink, do you want to see if we can fly down there? Wait, Vancouver's up. <laughs> well, yeah, well, um, give me a break. Everything is down. <laughs> Everything is down to me. Airports. I'm going yeah, down need... from my wonderful area to say hi to people in the other lower towns. I mean, I don't know what we're doing, but I hope we can actually go to Brony Cam because it's a really big convention. The last time we were in Canada with, like, a half museum and, like, the store set up, they really liked us, so... Man, I would love to go and sell to Canadians, and I would like have to curb myself. You know, it's if actually Abe, if Abe somehow showed up, it'd be a dream. Oh my God, I would do so many things to that boy. 
Okay. Uh, I, uh, I, I mean, I know I'm a really just hardcore, raunchy ass person here, but uh, Inky can tell you I'm actually really good when I'm behind a booth. Yeah, he's actually incredible when uh, he's behind the booth. I've seen him work. Yeah. Deep has made me so much work a, booth? a private booth? That's because, no, it's it's great. Like, my uh, uh, fucking shout out has seen me do this. Like, just like 10 minutes before we start, I just look at him and I'm like, all right, fuck, 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 nigga, 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 all right. And uh, I just get out every swear I can possibly manage <laughs> in the course of like five minutes. It's really minutes. true. He does it so he can get himself back into proper mind and he stops yeah. being tired. Yeah. yeah, Will is so funny. I'm just selling things. Uh, I'm like smiling and like being really nice, talking very slow to people. And he's just like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I see this in person. You trust me. Him as a salesman and him on the show he's is now isn't the same person. Uh, well, D bad mm. slick deals is like the best OC for you because like slick deals is totally like a raunch ass evil motherfucker, but he's like the suave kind of like I can put on a fake face and be the nice person kind of bullshit. Meanwhile, like in the background, he's like killing people under the table. Does he get laid at conventions? No. <laughs> that needs to be fixed. They <laughs> oh. calling me D-pad when I've actually just taken up the. I tried fucking switching to the slick. He's I trying to be I... slick. We try our best to call I... him slick, but she, no, we really want... want... I keep calling him slick. I like slick deals though because it sounds oh. like. I can't no, no, I had a great moment. With She's someone. fading away when she was talking. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> like... No, but I really can't stop calling him D-pad. It's like, I can't stop. Like, I really can't stop. I can't do it. Can't it's do it. okay. It feels because, because I actually it had sounds a really like you'd thing. be hanging with a gang of mine. Son of a bitch circuit. <laughs> 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 I uh, Actually, at the convention, I had a really great moments uh, concerning the name Slick Deals. Like, I uh, I was telling someone, is like, what's your name? I'm like, Connor, but the uh, pony the pony handle is Slick Deals. Then somebody comes up to me and is like, oh, what'd you say your account was? Your name is Slick Deals? And I'm like, no, no, it's actually, I, I'm Slick Deals. <laughs> Slick Deals is a fucking website that got really popular, like, recently. <laughs> and I guess... Everyone's some... mistaking... Oh, no, when anyone puts Slick Deals, the Google search you, they get that website. Uh, I, yeah, well, yeah, if you search, uh, fucking the running quiz, I have, like, four pages to me, man, it's great. Um, anyway, uh, I actually, found a picture recently, and it was just, like, his OC, and it was, like, nobody expects the Brony Inquisition. That, that is, is like, literally the first. <laughs> That is literally... <laughs> like, I literally... I don't think I've ever seen that one, and I just found it randomly while I was... I don't even remember what I was looking up, but I found it on... Oh, no, I googled Traveling Pony Museum, and that picture comes up <laughs> with Traveling Pony Museum. And That's I was like, awesome. d pad, d -pad Circuit. what is this? Yes? You showed that picture wrong. You're supposed to turn it to the right. Yeah, if you turn it one way or another, it goes from reasonably innocent to completely kinky. Um, actually, that's yeah, the only yeah. one I had, unfortunately. This is what? No, you, you just turn it. Yeah. Oh. You just slip it in the yeah, in you Rotate the image. Turn it right once. If you flip the bitch, it looks so much odder. Okay, hold yeah. on, hold on. I gotta get it back up here, and okay. See that? You flip the bitch. He flipped the bitch. Okay, okay. On, so, bring it up and so turn it right. It. Yeah. Got it. Con worked out uh, really huh. for us. It's a son of a fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> we got, yo, Inky, what were the profit margins at the end of things? Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't great. It really wasn't great, but it was it was what we make on average at, like, smaller conventions. <laughs> so, like, mid, like, like, I don't know, probably we brought in anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000 before expenses. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. So this is a good start for us, because now we can actually, what we're going to do is, since before, um, one of our old staffers had the printer, and then we were contracting um, somebody else for Our chat room stuff. is we're very dedicated. Two of our own printers. Oh my god, Inky, you won't believe what he has up right now. Oh my god, that's me back at the wedding meetup. Uh, I, I can't it, see anything. No, no, I know, I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's basically the first time I went to the NYC meetup during the uh, the wedding meetup, the royal wedding meetup uh, at the park with the giant pinky. I was there. Yeah, um, yeah, I was there. Oh my god, this is... I retired that coat since. Yeah, I remember... I can't actually remember talking about this like way, way early in the Brony Show years, man. 
I remember there was uh, me and this one other girl. We were competing for prize for uh, most swag, as uh, Kara put it. Uh, when what ended up happening is I got best the award for best dressed man. She got the award for best dressed woman, and best swag went to this girl in a derpy sweatshirt. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, where yeah, are you getting this shit? I got, we got a very dedicated chat room. These people are awesome. These people just have these images? They're finding, they the, the, they're finding these images left and right. The, these, our chat room is the, oh, the best. We have some this dedicated cool, fans, man. that's to say the least. Yeah, I love our chat room you right here. You call that a suit. Dude, yes, I do. Dude, Inky and I have been through so much bullshit in the past few years. Actually, it's funny. Recently, who is it? Uh, Inky, who who recently said that we should fucking date? <laughs> oh, Will. Will. That was Will? Oh, good shit. <laughs> we shut that kid down so fast. Like, if me and Deep had dated, by the end of, like, the first hour, one of us would be dead. Yeah, someone would die. Yeah, I can see that. Dude, it's really like our personalities only get along get along fine for two reasons. One, business sake. The other, we don't see each other that much. Fair enough. <laughs> like, like our personalities are so like almost in sync to like some degree. It's kind of scary, and it's only scary because if we like got together, I'm sure like me and him could like pull off mass murders. Like Lots just like we would just be like bathing in blood and laughing and like having a good old time and like everyone would be like terrified of us. Meanwhile, if yeah. we put us in the same room together, we'd just rip each other apart. Yeah, it's really bad. Like the biggest <laughs> flaw we have is that both of us have that one upsmanship problem. We need to be better than the other one. That would get bad really fast. Yeah, specifically league. <laughs> <laughs> specifically league. Alright, alright. Before they I try to stop falling, you removed him from your friends list for a reason or two. <laughs> alright, before well, you guys oh, Before you, you guys me, go to Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, before you guys start trying to one-up each other on the stream here, is there uh, anything else to talk about PonyCon? Yes, not. Uh, probably not, and I should probably go. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and yeah, let you go then so we, can, so we can definitely, so we can get moving on here. But... There's cake and there's, like, homemade good awesome shit. Yo, shoes. tell Fabrizio I love him. How about you call him yourself and tell him? I would love to. Because if he calls <laughs> him... He's gonna have him on the show. Actually, no, the worst part is it calls him. They're probably gonna start fighting over Fabrizio next. I would really not be Do surprised it. if D sent Fabrizio a, uh, a Valentine's card. Oh my god, I need to. Actually, I, that, that reminded me of one quick question. Did uh, did anything really weird happen because he guys decided to do PonyCon right in the middle of Valentine's Day of all days? Yes, yeah, she ditched us. So, well, other than that, that were single didn't kill themselves? Other than that, I mean. Yeah, right? I swear that's the only reason why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but, I did uh, felt losers. Yeah, to answer your question, no, nothing particularly odd happened. Uh, we did have great tablet. We had tablets set up at in the museum this time. People do some really people do some really great things and like people someone like made it fan art day for me. Like people drew a lot of me and I was like so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Nobody it's find that, please. Happy. <laughs> oh, I, I, I finally won up to my D-pad art that I drew like forever ago and I digitized it and then I added like super awesome effects and stuff. I'll have to upload that for you when I get yeah, home. You, should, you should throw me a file sometime. It's actually, uh, the people did some really great shit. Alright. Well, okay. Well, okay, I'm like a Vinky so she can enjoy some cake and we can get back to the news and everything that's still to be covered. Alright, go for it. I'll join you guys for some calls some other time. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Talk to you later, Inky. Alright. You'll probably have to kick me from the call, because I'm on my phone and I don't know what I'm doing. Got, got it. Got you. <laughs> Wait, no, Circuit, you got this. Already done. Alright. Yeah, Alright! Oh, wait, uh... Z wait, what's... Huh? Oh. No, no, nothing, I thought. N anyway. So, yeah, now you know... Uh, a bit about PonyCon and the museum and my habits at the museum. Yep. And the best part is that we are probably the most watched show in all of Ponyville Live right now, so everybody cheer for yourselves here. That's wow. awesome. Alright, well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, move on here. We do got quite a bit of news to cover, and uh, my, we're going to have to start burning through some of this in order to get to our discussion. Just start skip some of it. Well, uh, some of it's actually, it's really scant news. There's actually not a whole lot to talk about, in all honesty. All right, real fast. Um, DeviantArt actually did, does a, um, a spotlight every Friday, and it looks like Ponies actually got the spotlight this last Friday. 
Oh, you know, my you know, right? oh, God. Yes. So if you, we got a link to all of the different amazing art that they decided to spotlight, and we're probably going to have to come back to this in a week or two and actually do a review, uh, do an art critique of all of these different pieces of art here. Oh, you don't no. put no. any of mine in here. What the fuck? There's well, a lot of art. Just like immediately when we do that. Yep. And you do have an amazing eye for this. And some of this is really amazing art. And other ones uh, is... Uh, Legends of Equestria, always a great favorite. Hmm. But yeah, I think we could have a lot of fun with uh, doing that. So that's probably something to discuss for the next week or two. But if you want to check out all of the spotlighted art, it's uh, in our show notes. Or you can go to DeviantArt and take a look at their spotlight for Friday. Moving along, we got a little bit of merchandise uh, coming up here. We got definitely the plentiful kind. Starting off with a, another my, another blanket that I'm probably going to have to collect for the crazy collection I already have. Mainly because this one actually has more than just the main six on it. They put a dude on it, Fail. They put a dude uh, well, in, apparently, Discord. Are these the fucking comic guys that like make the really, really fucking amazing faces on Twilight? <laughs> I wish. Uh, let's One of these so days, Circuit's just going to host the Pillow Thork Con with all these blankets he's collected. Dude, oh yeah, fucking Inky brought two My Little Pony blankets to, uh, the, well, we were staying with Purple Tinker for the weekend. Actually, very nice, very fun. Nice. Alright, and uh, just quick, um, quick things in merchandise. There's a sequined backpack. Oh man, there's so many sequins that I could kill Blanked. Ha! Twilight Sparkle. Him. Oh! Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> the pun! She's got, she's got glitter in her eyes. Alright, and we also got um, Easter eggs from a chicken. <laughs> so, uh, that joke's still not funny. It's so still not funny, the but there, there's got to be an irony to Scootaloo painting a Easter egg. <laughs> it's still not funny. Yeah, I find it hilarious because she's, she's crippled. Chick- oh. And also, weird Chinese knockoff um, black Pinkie Pies. Ah! Oh my god, she's from Compton. Now she's a brownie. <laughs> She's a blackie. Son of a bit, damn. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, moving along here. Before in Ireland, if like if you call someone black, that's offensive. They just call black people darkies, and that's not at all offensive to them. That's just what? that's just a phrase of the area. That's a bit dark. <laughs> Stupid joke. <laughs> da 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 da. Anyway, Funrise has also recently uncovered their Celestia plushie. Anyone in the chat is black, and I call you a darkie without making it offensive? No? Alright. Uh, but yes, uh, looks like Celestia has a Funrise plushie uh, coming up. Nobody we know is black. Well, I don't know. Probably because of that attitude. I'm just <laughs> saying. Uh, okay, and um, also in the way of random crazy <laughs> merchandise, the little squishy ponies have gotten an update, and this time they actually have them in gala dresses. Microchip is black? Are what? you serious? You're black? I don't believe. I don't even believe you. Pixar, it didn't happen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, a horror thing, you African know. African American viewers? No, no, no. We have black viewers. Unless microchips. There's no such thing as African American. If you're born in America, you're fucking American. Fucking A. You see that? And also a Rainbow Dash light up. What is that face, though? I don't know what to think. You think that's friend? That's a good friend. I'm going to keep you safe at night. I was considering the wing boner. I think she just saw something that she I really don't know want to why, see, but doing something. Dude, I don't know why. I just feel like this thing is about to walk up to someone, just stare at them for about two seconds, and just say, Baklava. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving right along here. It's so funny, but it is. 
<laughs> All right, something <laughs> weird at Hobby Lobby. Like whoever the art director on Kenan or Ken. Wow, yeah. Rarity looks terrible. Well, here's the super white. Here's the funny thing. These are actually like painting things that actual paintings that you can put up on your wall. That's over at Hobby Lobby. Fucking dictator. Who calls looks... people of color? Her hair looks people fine. of color. That sounds more <laughs> offensive. Yeah, it does. It does sound more <laughs> offensive. Don't ask how. It just does. Next. Now, for some reason, your predisposition to skin cancer is important. I don't know. Anyway, we also I'm, got. I think you. I'm European American. No deal. I'm pretty. I can be pretty racist, but I don't think black people are akin to skin cancer. Just for that. No, like functionally, the difference between dark skin and light skin is that light skin gets. More I don't think we should be having this conversation. I don't live. You know. I I think in this case we probably should abstain from talking further about this. <laughs> and for the moment, um, look at the my little Spock secrets. Uh, what's the secret? Little oh, it sucks. Secrets? The secret is they're being held together by a key that's probably made out of tin. What's Twilight's dirty little secret? Go. She uh, has this uh, in her room. She uses a diary. The a diary she dropped in the mud. Well, I'll go with that. Fuck off. All right, uh, and uh, also for those of you who love your Play-Doh, there's also uh, Twilight. There's also more Play-Doh ponies coming out. Yo, in fairness, Play-Doh was the shit. But then they're like, fun to play with, not to eat. That's because you you bite... Let's listen, let's face it. Anybody that ever touched Play-Doh, you know you bit into that shit at least once. And it is the saltiest fucking thing since League of Legends. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fucking salty. Actually, when you, no, re when you do, actually they study what... make It tastes like something... They should just make it taste like broccoli. Then kids will never eat it. Actually, if you really study what Play-Doh originally was before it became Play-Doh... You would wonder about people, really. You would, dude. Like, they, they, but you like Joe, where it's made like, from horse I fucking hate it because they're like fun to play with, not to eat. Meanwhile, it's all like fucking burger play doh and fucking ice cream play doh <laughs> and just like burger ice cream spaghetti. Don't eat it. What the hell? Dude, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's for those kids that parents can't afford food, so they just, <laughs> they just play doh is definitely more expensive than food. <laughs> Moving along, um, burger. Go make one with your Play-Doh. Okay, we got a we got a little bit of a heads up when it comes to the comics, and I gotta admit, I did not see this coming. The next up, My Little Pony Friends Forever for number sixteen is going to be Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara. Wait, sir, get, I'm sorry, just one more before it dies. Like your mom gets home to her little six year old and just says, "I'm tired. You make dinner tonight." Just fucking puts the fucking Play-Doh cracker. Easy bake Play-Doh. Look, Mom, I made food. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Go eat a cup of noodles. <laughs> Actually, right, that's right, probably right. more nutritious than the freaking cup of noodles. Go, but I just needed another one before this joke was over. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara are actually teaming up for the next Friends Forever comic, which... I'm excited because I'm the only one that likes them, ever. Actually, I'm more surprised that they did this. Uh, I, I kinda, I'm excited just because I don't know, didn't, don't know what to expect out of this. I really don't. Might actually be interesting. Also, um, the next issue of the Friendship is Magic comic, number 30, is going to go back to a little bit more slice of life and talk about the finding of, uh, the founding of, uh, actually, gotcha. where, what are, the Ponyville Days, which is basically the uh, Ponyville's founding celebration. And oh, man, back Granny Smith was so hot. Yep, and apparently they get into a big fight over some sort of semantic or other. So it becomes a big feud. Oh, so, semantics. What would the world be without you? Uh, wouldn't have morning any virus. Ah, there you go. All right, another, another quick thing in the news here. A, for those of you who like my little dashy, there's actually a yeah, vision. Every time you come walking over here with the show on your phone, it echoes. Just, just to let you know. Anyway, for those of you who are big fans of My Little Dashie, or at least mildly interested, they have released a visual novel. Bas uh, for those of you who don't know what a visual novel is, it's basically like playing a game, except all you do is read. But it is a full visual novel lets you read the entire story while you get nice little images, because, heaven forbid, you read a bunch of text and actually come up with pictures inside your brain. Like you like a normal fucking person who has imagination. Yeah, pretty much. Like, oh, that's something unheard of. 
So for those of you who still are interested in trying it out for the sake of it, there is a link to it, and you download and play the thing, and it also has save points because it's a visual novel. Not like you can't have a bookmark. Really it's quick. A visual novel, meaning like you just look at it. Well, you read it. You read the whole thing, but it's all, it's basically like reading a video game, if you want, for lack of a better term, and not being able to think Cutie real Mark fast. Cutie Mark Unmagic. What the hell fresh is this? Cutie Mark Unmagic. This is another uh, Flash game that has recently come out. Um, check it out. It's fun. You're basically competing against the main six to do their jobs better than they can. Next, Dinky's that Destiny. That, that pretty much is it. Dinky's Destiny. Apparently, a teaser for Dinky's Destiny has been released announcing that the movie, or at least, yeah, an animation project called Dinky's Destiny is going to be showing up at BabsCon. So, not only is there a big animation, pro a big project combined with uh, Indiana Jones meets Daring Do, now there's a huge animation with Dinky's Destiny that will be showing up at Bab BabsCon as well. Which means BabsCon is becoming bigger and bigger. It might actually be um, almost as big as BronyCon at this rate. It's West Coast BronyCon. <laughs> 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 And finally, you know, it's only become popular because I went to it the first time I'd ever, you know. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> and, and finally, source um, people who have developed source models has fi ha 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 have finally released the Equestria Girls source models. Oh, the video that they post. The video <laughs> for it is, is something so else weird. to be seen. <laughs> and disturbing. What is this nonsense? Play, you gotta play the- oh god. Yeah, I was just about like, to say- you gotta play this video. Alright, just hold on. Shh. What the fuck? hold on. Bonitis. Bonitis. <laughs> so weird. People have fun with Source Filmmaker. Okay, and now that you've been corrupted forever, at app. I'm so. I will never look at Equestria Girls the same ever again. <laughs> I may <laughs> never look at it again. Oh, wait, I'll never watch it ever again. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm never gonna watch it again. Alright, well, um, let's go ahead and move on real fast. We did have a challenge of the week, and we're going to uh, touch up on a bit. Admittedly, I probably could have, I, I probably should have chosen something a little bit be uh, better when I was thinking funny ponies. Uh, uh, my, my mind was kind of, uh, ah, blah, 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 oh, my mind was kind of somewhere more like this. Just ponies doing silly, funny things. The pink one had mini. That's always a good one. I love that one. I, I'm glad I got a print of that. I just wish it Isn't didn't get better. The best. artist that draws this also does questionable stuff. I think. Porn, yes. Yeah, man. Um, like a ton of it. It's great. I don't care. It's I. I like the good art and the funny stuff, and I. I don't care what else they do. Well, yeah, you but should. apparently this is more. That's more acceptable than violence. Any Ooh, case, yes. um, unfortunately, You're some people. Are... Salty motherfucker. Do you play <laughs> League? I think you play League. I I fucking hate me. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> um, some is, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, glad. some people might have misunderstood what I was meaning, and instead I got some submissions like this, which is kind of funny. The only problem is that it's not exactly what I was aiming for. Plus, no source. I have no clue where this came from. Considering it's basically a meme, though, I don't think there ever was a source to begin oh, with. Yeah, no. No, no, ponies are way more manlier than vampires. Oh, yeah. At this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pony porn is awesome unless you're under 18. <laughs> Fucking kill me. In any case, um, we do got, I do have a couple of people to thank, though. They did get, we got some great submissions regardless of the, um, and the twilight stuck in the rain. Yeah, the vague, the vagueness. Uh, speak, we got Tokoy here who, uh, apparently we got Slick Deals the Clown. What the fuck am I wearing? You're Pagliacci. Yeah, is it Pagliacci or Pagliaccio? Harley Quinn with a goddamn Majora's mask. 
Dude, you're I, um, never, I never got those fucking. You're Pagliaccio the Clown Man. Why do they have a mask on the side of their head? I don't know. It, it's Pagliacci, man. You're you're the you're the Ital the famous Italian tragic clown. A what now? Those uh, fucking masks that people that the anime weeaboo fucks have on the side of their head. I don't get it. No, not that. Well, I don't get that either. But no, the, um, I'm. I, I'm reminded of Pagliacci. It's it's a actual opera about a tragic clown. Huh. And I can't remember exact. Oh wait, no, it's a Dexter's Lab joke apparently. Let's see. I actually know exactly what it is now. Oh, are you really watching it? Hell no! I did not know it was a full thing. I thought it was a clip. No, it's a full episode, buddy. Oh, screw and that! No. You would only <laughs> understand the reference between if you watch the entire thing. Yeah. But in any case, yeah, it's apparently a clown thing. But uh, we've got to give a big thanks to Creature, who once again gave us a, quite a lot of um, pictures, and all of them were pretty funny in some silly ways. Got the drinking buddies. Who are either of these two? I think they're OCs in part. Zai and anime, apparently. I don't know. Anime, move on, please, before I destroy myself. How about this? That's ASDA. That's an old Pixel Kitties. Yep, but it's so funny. It is. That is a very old Pixel Kitties, though. <laughs> and... I don't know, it's more of the cute side than funny on this. But in any case, that creature did get quite a bit of them here, and... He's biting his ear. He's gonna friggin' smack the bitch off. And for one more, because Black Griffin always tends to have some really interesting ones at times. My god, I forgot that guy even exists. He pops in here and there. But yeah. But I mean, this... all of them look just just kind of curious. I don't know what's up with Raymond. Now. But then there's Fluttershy who just looks legitimately worried. <laughs> well, essentially, she's just she's watching uh, Pinkie Pie probably holding from either the midair or literally breaking all physics. Who knows? In any case, you know, hanging, uh, hanging on to midair is not breaking physics. Well, a little bit of well, breaking um, cartoon physics. Like, I don't know. In any case, um, a lot of things that you could check out. Um, a lot of them are hilarious, fun, giggly. Definitely a great way to get your um, laughter going if you need a little bit of a chuckle. Now, the uh, next week's next week's challenge is going to be rock band ponies. And just to clarify, I mean like an actual rock band populated by ponies. Game. Yes, not the game. You know, apparently, we're getting a new one. The oh really? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Isn't that did that shit die in 2008? No, you can never Whoa, kill it. Saturation. Well, basically, I mean, the, the, really and it's like, and, and then they came out with Rocksmith, which would have been yeah, pretty much it was, uh, got, got yeah. Hero. The guy who was the directors on the game, who was the director on the games, posted up, up on Twitter, and also the fact that they just released two songs for Rock Band in the first time in like two years, and they're both references to stuff about rising from the ashes. Hmm. Gotta appreciate mm. Iron Man. Have you guys heard of? Uh, no, what was it? I can't believe I just drew a break on it. it. You plug an actual guitar in Rocksmith. Oh yeah, I, no, I actually. It actually teaches you how to play while you're playing. You game put an actual guitar into the fucking console. Why that took ten? Like, what was it? Four years? Four or five years after the first rock? What was it? Rock band. Guitar yeah. came out? Guitar. I uh, me. More people would have uh, had more fun with that than clicking green, yellow, red buttons on a plastic guitar. Yeah, man. Yo, I. Fucking love cooking, Mama. 